Hello, I'm Steve Thornton. I'm going to talk about a project that I shot in a little town called Naso in Italy. And Naso is on Lake Como. Uh, I had shot at this particular location uh, about three years before. And it was just basically tourist shots. It was by, directly behind the location here is an incredible set of waterfalls. that I spent about two hours shooting. It was just almost like a religious experience. It was so much fun. We're going to look at seven different images. And what we're going to show you here is um, why I use a grid and how to fine tune a grid to make it work for you for any given location. A lot of times people think just because they put a grid on, they have to leave it there. You can actually peel it back a little bit. You can pull it up and clip it. This allows you to put more light in one area as opposed to the other area. It's, it's very, actually, it's very handy. Um, the first shot in this series is I'm taking a photograph standing where the model would actually wind up being, pointing back towards her walking into the set. She's also with my, um, my wardrobe stylist, Vicki Perry, um, who was uh, uh, with us on the project. And it shows you where the light was initially. Now, where you see the strobe and the, the soft box, the 30 inch by 30 inch box, uh, four square box, is not what we wound up using it. It actually was moved a great deal closer than what you're seeing in the photograph. Um, the second photograph is looking at the set from where the model was in the first photograph, looking back towards the set. You can see the stairs on the left. That's where she wound up standing on. You'll see the four square um, onto a stand. Again, that's not the original, uh, that's not the final location, it's the original location. The third photograph is the shot I did just to see how I liked the light. I didn't like the light. The light was terrible. So what I did was, and the reason is you can see in the photograph, light's everywhere. It's over here. It's over here. It's, I mean, it's just everywhere. It's just, and it's not interesting in the least. And I said, okay. So I went back to the car, got the grid out, put the grid on. Now, in the fourth image, you can see now we have a grid on it, but in the far right-hand side of the image, it's this black. It's just very, very dark. There's no detail. I wanted a little bit of detail in there. So if you look at the fifth image, this is a photograph of me shooting back into the four square box with the grid on it. Now, if you can see the grid's not completely in every, in every part of it. It's kind of pulled back on one side and it's clipped up uh, in the bottom right-hand corner. We're going to talk about the left-hand side of the box as you're looking at it right now. What that does is it allows you to put more light on the right-hand side of the photograph. Now, if you look at image number six, that shows you what happened. When, as soon as I moved that grid back, it allowed more light to go onto the right-hand side of the image as opposed to everywhere else. Everywhere else is still fully gridded. It's focused light, focused diffused light in that direction only. But by pulling it back, I was allowed to have a little more light kind of leak out, if you will, on that one side. And this added just a little shadow detail. I, was, I didn't want to have it like it was in, the, in shot number three, where I could see everything clearly. I just wanted to show people there's something there other than a black void. But I still, on the, if you look at the image number six, you'll see the boots on the left-hand side of the image. They're not really there. So what I did was, if you reference back to the grid shot, which is number five, you can see in the lower right-hand corner of the image, the grid's just barely pulled up a little bit with a little clip. And that's just enough light to put on the boots so they actually read. And in the final image, number seven, you can see that now I have light on the right, and I have light on the model, and I have just enough light on the boots to show, give it just what I call read. This is something that um, I want to explain to you that just because you have a softbox, and a grid doesn't mean you have to leave it that way. You can customize it for your images. It's this ability to understand that just because it's there doesn't mean it's, it's, in, it's set in stone, because it's not. It's there only as a tool to help you illuminate your subject. If you understand, that, okay, I, I can do this, then maybe it will help you in your image making. And really, it's just that simple.